Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I've been doing this new technique with my uh, 3D fiber lashes and I am loving this. So I wanted to share with you guys. Um, for the most part, I'm still doing the same exact thing. I'm just doing something in a little different order. So remember, first off, if the uh, transplanting gel, which is the bigger tube, which is your mascara on the days you don't want to do everything, um, make sure if it's getting like a little clumpy or anything, put it in a glass of very warm water, let it warm up. Fibers work really well in there too. It just kind of helps maybe release some of the static electricity or something. I don't know, winter, summer, when these don't start performing right, I put them in a glass of hot water and just let them sit for a couple minutes. Okay, so like I said, my process has not changed. I need to put a layer of transplanting gel, aka mascara, on my eyelashes and let it dry. And the reason I have to do this, and not everybody has to, is because my lashes are really fine and they must be slippery or something. Because if I don't do this, when I start putting, when I do the gel fiber gel, when I start putting the gel, second gel, on my eyelashes, everything tends to slide off. So if you're not getting the results that you think you should with these lashes, try that. If that doesn't work, let me know. Because I've got other great tips and tricks that other women um, use and share. And I'd love to share them with you because I know you're going to love these. You're going to love these. All right. So let it dry. And I'm, like I said, days I don't want to do the whole gel fiber gel. This is my mascara. This is what I do. It's quick and easy and you're out the door. Okay. <sighs> Should be good enough. <laughs> All right. I've said it a couple times. Gel fiber gel. Got to remember that, gel, fiber, gel. It's so important. The gel you put on so that the fibers stick. And then when you put the gel back on top, it's so that the fibers don't fall off. You're actually sealing them onto your lashes. Okay, so, and this is literally the process that I do every single morning. Remember, don't pump your mascara, ladies. Wiggle it, wiggle it in the tube. All right. You can um, put this just on the bottom part of your lashes. You can also do the tops if you want. I'm gonna show you how to do the tops today, just cause. Um, I usually only do that on special occasions. When you do the fibers, I always make sure I'm releasing the fibers off the wand so they um, attach easier to my lashes. Only do half the lashes. Don't go close to your waterline, okay? Um, it's not going to burn. It's just going to feel like you got an eyelash in there. All right. And don't worry if um, you drop fibers, if they fall on your face. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> oh, we'll take care of that, right? Okay, here we go. And yes, I do gel fiber on one eye. And then I switch over and do gel fiber on the other eye. Got to open the mouth, right? All right, that's right. I did that on the side. And I'm going kind of fast here, and it's, I always say this, it's hard for me to see in this camera. So if things are looking a little weird, a little wonky, a little clumpy, um, when I've got a proper mirror in front of me, they don't look weird and wonky. And remember, just have the eyelash and up. You don't want to feel like you got an eyelash in your eye all day. Okay, so here's where the process has changed. At the end, I used to do the blow dryer. Now I do the blow dryer now. Here we go. And why do you do the blow dryer? What it does is it curls your lashes and it gets rid of, or and actually right now what it's doing is drying the gel so the fibers stick to your lashes better. And you don't want to hit your eyeballs. You don't want to dry out your eye. You just want to go up your face so that it hits your eyelashes. Right. There we go. Now, if I have any extra, <laughs> any extra fibers or anything, you can take them off now. I 
looks like I'm doing pretty good, ladies. Okay, and then again, you seal with another coat of the gel, gel fiber gel. I'm just doing that blow drying method. What that um, blow drying method actually does when you put it um, before the last gel is it helps protect your gel from getting too many fibers on this wand and um, that can actually lead to your your gel getting clumpy which is really what you don't want so doing it this way is definitely going to extend the life of your gel which is totally awesome if your gel is clumpy you can always 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 add a little bit of um, saline solution to the gel I also add a little bit of rose water to help extend the life. All right, so I apologize if things look a little clumpy right now. I don't think they do, do they? And there you go. So these little anemic eyelashes. <laughs> you see that? Isn't that awesome? I can bat my eyelashes. All right, ladies, let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you have any issues, let me know too. I've got some other great tips and tricks, and um, you'll be seeing more of me later. Bye.